welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and I will be taking calls today and answering questions, helping people connect with loved ones on the other side. Um, so if you would like to call in, ask a question, or connect with a loved one, the number is 845-277-9131. So if and if you call in and you get through, please um, please take me off of speakerphone, have a exact or direct question available and or a direct or exact connection. An exact connection sounds something like Mike, my grandpa, okay? I don't need the last name, just the first name and the um, and the relationship to you or Bill, my friend, whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> that is the easiest way for me to connect with their energy. So having said all of that, in a second, I am going to take my first caller but first i want to thank everybody at wscs for everything they do scott it's been so long since i've seen you i kind of miss you um i miss the studio um and scott is the person over there that makes sure all my shows get up and they get excuse me aired and um they uh, are put on the streaming channels, Rudy from Rude Rangers TV and Rudy Radio. Thank you so much for making, show my, making sure my shows get up and put on and everything over there is taken care of. Um, Amber from Legacy PR, who does uh, my PR stuff, obviously. Thank you guys so very much for making sure I get out on all the podcasts all of the stations and all of the um is there, the stations and the podcasts right that's that's the, that's the stuff right that is the stuff hi Mimi hi Heather I'm so grateful for everybody who joins me here on YouTube everybody who calls in, everybody who listens and re-listens to the show. I'm so grateful for all of you. So I am going to do start the show with a clearing. And the first clearing is just uh, we are clear and I get a no. So we're going to start clearing that today uh, right away just to make sure that every everybody is clear. I'm going to go to the first caller now. And the first caller is going to be... Um, 405, 405, please give me your first name, where you're calling from. Heather, Hi, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma. Hi, Heather. It's wonderful to connect with you. You are on Hi. YouTube a lot. So I typically, <laughs> I don't, I typically don't do this, but, um, Heather made a comment in the YouTube chat that uh, she had lost her grandma and I wanted to see if I could help her connect with her grandmother. I'm really sorry for your loss, Heather. Um, can I please have your grandmother's first name? It's Karen. Karen. Okay. And I'm hearing a name, Heather, and I... I need to, if I hear it, I have to say it. Now, if this isn't for you, um, you may be familiar with who this person is, or you may not, or it may be for somebody else who's listening in, but I keep hearing the name Estelle. Yes, I don't even know how to spell Estelle. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even going to fake it, folks. I don't know how to spell Estelle. So E-S-T-E-L maybe. Um, but I keep hearing the name Estelle. I don't know if that is somebody associated with your grandmother, somebody you know on the other side, or someone who is listening is um, knowing somebody named Estelle. But I keep hearing the name Estelle. Heather, does that have anything to do with your grandmother that you know of? Not that I know of. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So let's connect with your grandma now. 
Okay, so your grandmother, I'm seeing I'm seeing another a number of people come in right now. So I'm not going to try to figure out which one is your grandmother, but what I am going to say is that Okay, your grandmother has had um a really if she were here, if she were still in the flesh, she would say she had somewhat of a difficult life. But looking back at it now, she's saying she had a triumphant life. <laughs> um, and she's making a joke. And I don't get the joke. I get the joke, but I don't get the joke. <laughs> so <laughs> she's saying, I made it out alive. Ha, ha, ha. Nobody makes it out alive. So I don't know if she has that kind of hokey sense of humor. But I'm literally, I am turning red on that comment yeah. right there. Like, that's such a silly little, like, joke to make. Um, but she's saying she made it. Okay, thank you. She made it out alive. Her soul survived. Like, her soul made it to what? she's referring to as the next level here, the next level. Um, it was a complicated, it, her, her end time was, she's using the word complicated. It was very complicated. Now this was either the, the last part of her life or in general, her life, there were a lot of complications, a lot of complications. And in the end, there were a lot of medical complications, um, things that went wrong that should have not should not have gone wrong, went wrong. There were a lot of medical complications um, in the end. Is that, ac do you know if that's accurate? Yes. Okay, thank you for confirming. And she's saying this, not for anybody listening, she's saying this to confirm to you that this is her. Because like, how would I know that, right? I, I just wouldn't know that. Mm -hmm. So she wants you to know that right. this is her that she's saying this um so the biggest thing she wants to say is um aside from i hear the name estelle again <laughs> find out if there's an estelle in your family and then hit, let me know about that if not it's no big deal um, i will <laughs> uh what she wants to say is she loves you and thank you so much for all of your love and su support i can tell she's elevating um her soul has gone up because she's talking really fast um Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Thank you so much for everything that everybody did in that final time and coming together and everything that was uh, put like put together. Oh, it, it, and she's like waving her hand like, oh, it was just too much. You just it was too much. Like, you know, it's cute to me when they think the ceremony that we do is too much. It's um. It's always cute to me. And then she wants to say, um, I, I'm seeing, um, okay, if this isn't you, I apologize. But did she at one, or if this wasn't her, did she at one point have a, a dog? Um, like, I feel like there there's a dog sitting on somebody's lap. And this dog... Um, Uh, I just see this dog and I'm trying to figure out <clears throat> if she's showing me a dog on somebody's lap here, but I think it's a dog that she's reunited with. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be her dog. It could have been your dog that she's now with up there because my mom is with my dogs. And yeah. um, I was really surprised. Yeah, we got that. two dogs that passed. Okay, was one of them... And now I need to explain when I see animals on the other side, they don't always show true to form. Sometimes they show up smaller than they were in real life. I see this dog, um, well, on her lap, on her lap. She's just showing, let's just go here. She's showing me she's with, she's with your, your uh, bubba's. I, I always call them bubba's. So she's with your bubba's. And uh, she wants you to know <clears throat> she's doing the, for those of you watching me, you can see what I'm doing here. Um, she's doing the, we're all together. And she's take, um, for those of you who are just listening to me, uh, taking her fingers and doing the full circle around her body. Like we are all together, meaning everybody who has passed up until now, she joined them. 
we're one, we're one. It's, um, it's a collaboration. I've, I've never heard it put that way. So I really love that. Um, and the we are one, the souls, when we go back to the other side, we don't have the flesh and we realize it's just, we all mesh. We're all like a, a fibrous frequency that works together to make things get done, to get things done. So she wants you to know we're all together. I've united with them. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. But she also in the same breath is saying, but I haven't gone anywhere, but I haven't gone anywhere. Now to me, I know me, I know exactly what that means. I know exactly what that means. <laughs> Excuse my weirdo language that I make up all the time. Um, <laughs> what that means is, and I know this from, so I've told this story before, I'm telling it again, when my little baby puppy, she wasn't a puppy, but when Bella passed, I literally saw her because I was holding her when she passed. I saw her pop out of her body and she was about three feet off the ground and she was just so happy. Her face was so happy and she had been so sick and she just was staring at me and her little tail was just going a million miles a minute. And, um, she came home with me. So she was, she was with the other side, but she was still here with me and she stayed the whole night and we talked. And then the next morning an angel took her and I thought that was it. But then she came back within hours and it was a different type of being um, communication and her being here. I didn't see her as clearly, but I still um, communicate with her and I still dream when I dream, they are laying in bed next to me where they would have before. Um, Because uh, there was also Max and Max went home shortly after. So what she wants to say, that was a very long go round of she is with everyone, but she is still here. And this is a beautiful, beautiful thing, not only for you, but for everybody, because everybody who has passed is our soul team. Right. And I always say we go home to our soul team, our soul mm -hmm. pod. And but the beautiful thing is mm -hmm. before we go home, they're they're with us. They like have our back and they're helping us here. So even though she went there, they're he there is here. And I always say there are many dimensions. It's heaven isn't the only dimension. There are higher dimensions and there are what I refer to as lower dimensions. And these dimensions are places where we evolve. We are hopefully, hopefully always evolving. Okay. We're always going up. And if we, if we're in that space of, uh, and there is no judgment here. There is no judgment here. Um, we're just always evolving. I'll get into the lower dimensions at another time when somebody calls in and asks about that. I'm not going to talk about that here or now. Because um, <laughs> it's not pertinent to this conversation, first of all. So so uh, she wants you to know she's with you. Their soul team is there. And there are gifts coming in, gifts coming in, gifts coming in. I'm not going to, they're obviously, they're gifts. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Some of these gifts are spiritual, but other gifts are a, a little financial. I'm hearing there might be a financial gift coming in. Whatever this means when it comes in is what it means. Now, sometimes, you know, they're really funny on the other side. Sometimes they think us finding a penny on the ground is like a financial and a spiritual gift at the same time. They're just showing us money falls out of the sky. <laughs> Even if it's only a penny, it falls out of the sky or we just find it laying yeah. down. Um, but she wants you to know that financial gifts are coming in and to watch for them. But you won't have to watch for all of them because some of them are going to be landing in your lap. OK, whatever that means for you and your um, situation. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are with you. They are with your family. They are for foraging you forward, foraging you forward. OK, Heather, I hope that was helpful. I really awesome. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. And I, I really appreciate it. 
<laughs> absolutely my pleasure. And you can call in or stay in on the chat anytime you want. I look forward always to talking with you, whether it be on the YouTube chat or... And then I'll find um, out about that as well, and I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, please do. Yes, please. And maybe it's for somebody else listening. But hey, if somebody else is listening for it, Estelle, um, she's she's here. If not, Heather, if this is for you, your mom or your grandmom is letting you know she's with somebody named Estelle. So, okay. Thank you okay. so much for connecting. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Until next time. Or, you know, I, I know you'll probably stick it through the end with the show, but thank you again for calling in. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I am going to go to the very next caller and the very next caller is 917. I'm scrolling through the uh, whole call log. Yes. Here, hey, 917, how are you today? I'm pretty good. Thanks, honey. Hey, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, sorry, sorry. My name is Tim. I'm calling from New York. Okay, Tim. How can I help you today? Sure, no problem. I've been trying to, not trying, I'm sorry. I've been working on raising my vibration, trying to bring some abundance in, manifest some new things. So I've just been, uh, you know, trying to say a little mantra throughout the day, get outside, try to walk in nature. I'm just curious if you see anything opening up. Okay, so one thing I want to, um, to say to you is... Um, I'll do a clearing and everybody always loves this clearing. So thank you so much, Tim. It's at the, like the 17 minute mark, we're going to call it the 17 minute mark of the show. So if you want to come back and listen, re-listen to this clearing, I recommend you do. And I'm not going to call it abundance, Tim. I'm going to call it wealth because that's really what we mean. And we have to start saying what we mean and not feel badly about it. Because if we feel badly about saying I want to be wealthy. We're not going to be wealthy. We have to be very exact in our verbiage to ourselves and our verbiage when we put it out there. And the fact is, you know, people have been shamed so much in the past couple years over the most ridiculous things and other things. And you know, it's time that we just start saying your feelings are not my problem. If you feel like the fact that I want to be wealthy or have X amount of money is a problem. Well, exit stage left. Um, wealth is a part of this life. We suffer. We were not put here to struggle. Um, and if we were, all these preachers that preach that would be struggling with us. And they are not. And I'm going to say it again. The city of gold under the Vatican they have enough money to feed and bring water to every part of this world. Are they? No, because apparently they do not believe in that sort of tithing, but they expect us to do it. So having said all of that, if your belief system is wealth, you will have wealth. You will accomplish wealth and you will start doing it in the most ridiculous, fun ways, okay? And I I have, in some previous shows, talked about some of the things I've manifested in my own life. So I'm not just talking to talk. I, I really have manifested some pretty freaking amazing things. Um, and I still do on a daily, I do. Um, so Tim, we're going to for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, and actually this is now at the 19-minute mark, uh, we believe in wealth for us. I get a no, so we're going to clear that. We believe in, uh, we believe we are supposed to be wealthy. I get a no, let's clear that. We believe it's okay to be wealthy. I get a no. We create from what we believe, not what we want. Okay, and if you, if we do not believe it's okay for these things, we 
we might get it, but we'll we'll lose it just as quickly as we get it. We have it kind of spent before it comes in. So I'm clearing all of that for you. And I'm going to tell you, Tim, you have this ability. You have a really good ability to manifest. You do. You have this really strong ability to manifest and to bring in what it is that you want in your life. And you've done it. You've you've actually done it. And I'm what I'm getting for you is if you work every day on something, one small thing and one big thing, you will start to see huge leaps and bounds in your ability to create and co-create your life the way you want it to be. I do see that, uh, Tim, I'm going to ask you, do you, are you an entrepreneur because you're supposed to be, are you an entrepreneur? Uh, not currently. Okay. You're, you, I can't say you're going to be, you have the potential to be okay. If, and what I could be seeing, maybe you're running someone else's business, but you have a very good ability to see how and what and kind of when things should be done. I get that whatever this is, there's going to be a point or the opportunity for you to be an entrepreneur in some way. And I think you've thought about it. I'm going to be so bold as to say, I believe that you have thought about being an entrepreneur. And I believe that you kind of I feel like you kind of know what area you want to go into, but you're not quite sure about it yet. Is that true? That's pretty accurate, yes. Excellent. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> although a lot of people would say this is not the right time to jump or to move or to get into what it is that you want to be doing, some people might say this is the perfect time uh, just because we need uh, we need a lot of entrepreneurs right now. Um, whatever it is that you're thinking of, I'm hearing the word leap, jump. This doesn't mean you have to leave your whole, you know, you don't have to do this whole complete switch at once, you can slowly transition and slowly transitioning sometimes is the perfect way to do it. Now, I am also hearing and I hear this once in a while during readings by choice or by force. <clears throat> what this means is you, if you do not choose to start taking these steps forward, the universe is going to kind of kick you in the booty and get you going in that area, into that thing you're supposed to be doing. A lot of people think or feel that finances are what is stopping them. Again, you know, I, I did a show a while ago and it basically said people think they have to already be there to get there. You think you need to have your business look like this or this much money in the bank. You really don't. If you start slow and grow, you would be amazed at how much more you can achieve. And I'm going to call it from a grassroots come up or beginning, start, whatever you want to say, than, um, than like starting off what people would say with like X amount of money in the bank or X, X amount of this or X amount of that. Um, just start like, uh, like a one man show. That's all I'm, I'm hearing for you. Just do what you want to do. Yeah. You might not get sleep for a minute, but it would be so worth it later on down the line. So really consider that because our true wealth never comes from working for someone else our true wealth as far as our heart our head and our bank account comes from creating and co-creating with this 
the, the divine, this universe, this world. I, I hope that was helpful. Um, so I, I really do hope that was helpful and thank you so much for calling in and until next time, I am going to go directly to the next caller, um, who is six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. How are you today? Hi, this is Regina from Georgia. Hi, Regina. I'm good. Good. How can I help you today? I, I am calling about manifesting a significant other. Okay. Um, love life. Okay. Um, to see how where I'm heading if I'm getting closer to it. I just I've been in my singleness for like over six years. Oh my. Seven. So. Okay. And I've been so patiently waiting, even though I've been talking to other people, it's just like I'm ready for a relationship. I think I've done the healing, I've done all of that since my divorce. Okay, so the first thing I'm hearing for you, and I'm going to help you do this, um, any, and excuse the way they're putting this, any drag alongs anyone from your past that you were in a situation ship or relationship with you need to cut that now cut all that energy out of your life because there is, there is someone from your past i'm picking up there's someone from your past that thinks about you a lot or is there's either you think about them or they think about you. And it doesn't matter if you think good, bad, or in different thoughts about this person. Just, you know, cut all that energy. You know, whenever I let go of someone, male or female, I always say, you know what, this is, this is such a blessing. This is what I learned. Now I can move on to this. Okay. And I never, I always say leave them with love, but not too much love because they'll, 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 they'll keep feeding on that love. <laughs> so leave them with love. Here's your love. It's your, it's your to go package. Now go. It's not your keep feeding. I'm giving you a fish. <laughs> no, I'm teaching you to fish. I'm not giving you the never ending fish here. Um, here's your love. Bye bye now. <laughs> Have a good day now. Um, but I, I always say that if you're serious, if you're super serious about somebody new and a really good new serious commitment, make sure everything from your past is cut, even uh, like those little hi, how are you texts, okay? Because that keeps that little line open, even if it's just a friendship. Second thing that I'm getting is June is going to be significant for you meeting someone and somebody very significant in your life. OK, so I want to make sure you're in the right place and they're in the right place. So right around the 28 minute mark, folks, we're going to do a um, I'm ready for a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no. We're going to clear that to a yes. And again, listen and re-listen to this. So that you can be in that place that you need to be for that relationship that you want. Okay. And I hope that was helpful. I look forward to talking with you again. And thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for calling in. I want to thank everybody who joined me on YouTube today. I want to thank everybody who called in today. Thank you.